how to outline an entire novel using ChatGPT or artificial intelligence. Yes, you can use this to help you create novels. Oh my goodness, here's how to do it. So what you're gonna do is go into ChatGPT and you can say something like this. Write the plot outline for a novel about dot, 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 then you're gonna insert some information. The first thing I like to start with is who the protagonist is. So a young successful woman, then a bit of context, where, so I've put in Australia, and then what's going on, kind of give them a little bit of an overview of roughly what your story is gonna be about. So I've put uh, living in Australia who just got her dream uh, job as a high level executive at uh, a university. However, her journey is full of trials and tribulations as she learns and adapts to the huge responsibility of such a big role. Her relationships, her marriage are strained as she battles between wanting people to like her and being a good leader. On the way, she learns lots about leadership and what's really important in life. So this is an overview of my story. And um, it then, first of all, what it did when I hit enter is it just re-summarized that for me to make sure that it understood. So I replied, yes, please create the plot outline for this to be a novel. Bam, it then gave me act one, act two, act three, act four, and act five, and the main plot points that happened. So this is pretty cool. It's given us a structure of what our story could look like, but of course, we still need to do a little bit more exploring. So as an example, in act two, it said to me, um, the protagonist faced a series of trials and tribulations as she tries to prove herself as a leader. So the tr series of trials and tribulations kind of stood out to me. And I thought, well, what kind? So I said to hit, I said to chat GPT, give me an example of some of the trials and tribulations that she may have faced. And then it came up with a whole bunch of suggestions as to what could possibly happen in that kind of scenario that my protagonist is living in. It also said that she learned some valuable lessons. So somewhere here, she learned some valuable lessons about leadership and what's important in life. So I then um, asked it, okay, give me some examples of the valuable lessons about leadership and what's really important in life. So it's given me some more examples and these can be things that then I can build story curves around. I can build plot lines around as she's learning these lessons through her story. Then uh, it also in the act came out with um, that she had to make a crucial decision that could make or break her career or reputation. And I think that was a really important part of the plot. So I said, give me an example of a crucial decision that could make or break her career and reputation. So it's given some really good suggestions there of different scenarios that my character might face. Um, um, one I particularly liked, it said uh, that there's a public scandal somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So she, she was faced with a scandal or crisis um, that she had to basically figure out how to save. So I said, give me some examples of public scandals that the protagonist might face. And it's given really contextualized examples to this particular person in this particular scenario. So again, we've gone through here and I've had a little look at ones that I may like to go with. So the first thing I said next is well, let's give this person a name because I don't want to keep calling her the protagonist. So I said, name my protagonist. <laughs> and it came up with a bunch of select suggestions. Hilariously, Sarah is there. So uh, without looking like an absolute narcissist weirdo, I've picked Sarah for the name my protagonist because, you know, it's a great name. <laughs> so I said, let's call her Sarah. And chat says, sure, the protagonist's name is Sarah. So then um, I want to get a bit more deep in here. So I said, so even though Sarah ensures that this, um, endures the scandal, she gets through the other side, she's celebrated and satisfied with her results, she realizes that this wasn't her dream job after all. She discovered, discovers that there's a deeper meaning um, in living our purpose and that we um, blah, 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 right? So I've given it some more examples of uh, kind of where I want the story to go. And I've then asked ChatGPT, what lessons could come from this novel for the reader? based on kind of the feeling and vibe I want it to have. And it's given some amazing like life lessons or themes of the book, basically, that I can build the whole entire story around. What is my main character's main theme that she learns through going through this journey? And what's that ultimate lesson then from that theme that the reader also subconsciously or not takes away with them too at the very end? 
So there's a bunch in there. Um, then I really wanted to pull out some more information about some of her trials and tribulations. You know, in every good story, there's an enemy or a bad guy. So I wanted to play on my red herring, first of all. Uh, so I said to it, uh, one of the challenges that Sarah faces in this novel is, that, is a colleague that she thought was her friend and ally, even looked up to this colleague as a mentor. How might this false friend have betrayed Sarah? So um, then it's given some suggestions. And uh, she actually, it's actually named him. <laughs> so ChatGPT said, one of the challenges that Sarah faces in this novel is a colleague that she thought was her friend and ally. That this colleague, let's call him John, may have betrayed Sarah in several ways. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go with this, right? He's called John and it's got some suggestions here as to how John, the false friend, may have betrayed Sarah along the way. So I'm like, okay, cool, let's work out, how did we discover this? How did Sarah discover that all the challenges that she was facing was because of John. And again, it's given a bunch of suggestions here as to how I may have uncovered his plot to dethrone me from my position. So as you can see here, you can just keep going and asking more and more questions. This becomes a conversation. The tool follows on from everything that we've done in this one particular chat thread. So we can keep going. We can keep creating this whole world, this whole entire, you know, universe that this story is living in, build out all of these characters, name them, give them personalities, find out about their lives, um, and come up with lots and lots of key points that we can then start weaving together. So anyone who's looking at this is freaking out, like, you know, was, there's no place left for me as an author. Absolutely there is. Like, someone still has to write this story. It still has to be constructed in a way that only a human can. And this just gives us tools to make this exploration, creation, brainstorming process so much more fun, fast, and easy for us to have prompts as authors and writers that we can then use to you know, create in our own way and craft into that story that we know people are going to absolutely love. If you've got any more questions about using artificial intelligence, whether it's for books, novels, blog posts, sales pages, creating courses, course outlines, educational content of any kind, let me know, drop them in the comments. I will be producing some more AI-based videos to help you understand how to prompt these tools to get them to work for you so that you as an individual, so that you as an expert, so that you as an author, a creator, as a leader, can create even more amazing content. Because this, although it's coming up with information, it's giving up with stuff for us to use, it still cannot replace your voice, your face, your character, your personality. If you're using this stuff to create tips and content out online, I would still strongly recommend to stand out from the crowd that yes, you might use this as a prompt to get ideas, that your explanation of those, that information and those ideas is actually delivered via your face and your mouth on camera, because that's where your personality and your character shines. That's where you're proving to the world that you are not a robot, your stuff isn't AI generated. It's absolutely very much you generated. And that's where you create connections and you create followers. And it's exactly the same with your stories as well. You, only you write the way that you write. Only you can connect all of these different dots together and present them, explain them, and make actualize this, you know, this world on paper in only the way that you can. And that's what makes you unique is the way that you tell the story around these particular prompts. So if you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to come and grab my book challenge. If you wanna become a published author, go to sarahcordiner.com forward slash book challenge, and I'll take you through the entire process of writing and publishing your very own book on Amazon. Good luck, happy writing and creating.